I was thinking about how in Hollywood and popular culture, uh, teachers have a very esteemed kind of role. You know, they play quite an inspirational kind of role, mm -hmm. help mm -hmm. people mm -hmm. achieve their dreams, etc. Uh, a few days after the Manchester attack, apparently a 13-year-old girl in uh, Texas in junior high school was given an award um, by her teacher at a mock award ceremony. And the award was for the person most likely to be a terrorist, um, which, you know, is a bit... What are you troubling. looking at, Nick? <laughs> Don't look at me. <laughs> Um, I could see you too, your body no, was no, swaying no, a little no, bit this no, way no, too. No. You didn't want to go all the no. way though. Oh, 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 I don't no, want to upset him. Who no, knows no. what he's got Ooh. under the desk. No, no. Oh, yeah. oh, oh. Not at all. Um, a couple of other awards that were handed out at this mock award ceremony. Most likely to cry for every little thing was given to a girl. Mm, probably and, made um, her cry. <laughs> probably made her cry. <laughs> most likely to become homeless was given to a that boy. That would piss me off. Yeah. That, that would be, you know what, that is, harsh. I have no faith in you. You cannot even have a house. You cannot even... No. Actually, <laughs> it's just awful. It'd just be awful. <laughs> Imagine being a thirteen-year-old kid getting that sort of an award. Honestly, would you rather get the terrorist award or the homeless award? I'd take the terrorist any day. That means I've got some sort of, you know, guide, some sort of yeah, goal and objective. Right. You know yeah. what I mean? Oh, you this guy, you've got to know how. You've got to have right. been creative. That's right. Yeah. You've got to know everything. That's right. Terrorists Pipe hated. bombs. Terrorists you know? hated. You know? Car no, bombs. No. no, no. <laughs> No, I think that I think the thing is. So you'd rather be homeless no, than no, a terrorist. You know what? Is that what you're <laughs> you'd rather be labelled. Yeah, I'll, I'll take the homeless hat. Yep, I I'll am have taking that. the reins. No home. I'm taking the reins of this conversation. Okay, go. Okay. <laughs> I don't think these sorts of awards should be given out to any children. No, they shouldn't. I mean, it's outrageous. You know, the the relevant authority came out and said, "Oh, it was a prank." I'm like, it's not a prank. It's not. This is a psychological damage. No. Did they have damage. a trophy? Did they have a trophy? No, they had certificates. That's ridiculous. Certificates. You see what I mean? If it was just, oh yeah, no, no, you're, certificates. You're, yeah, that, no, that's that's with worse. the name of the child. Yeah, that's a lot of effort then to really put people down. Text. You know? yeah, that, <laughs> that, that is. That's it. that's really the problem with it. You know, I think the casual um, backhand from the teacher. Yeah. Not such a big deal necessarily. Mm. I'm sure they all stack up over time. Mm. <laughs> but to have that presented to you as an official document at yes. a ceremony. Here it yes. is. Yeah. That's just hopefully, awful. hopefully you'll make it to ISIS one day. Here <laughs> <laughs> you go. Frankly, I think you'd have a better shot See with Al Qaeda because they've kind of had it. But yeah, I don't That's know. Really, yeah. I mean, but it makes you think, doesn't it, about how important these teachers are in 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 the lives of adolescents, especially. You know how influential they are. I mean, have you got any scars from from the heaps. old days? I've got heaps. Yeah. yeah, too many. Too many. Um, but I, I will give you a nice teacher story off the top of my head. Then I'll follow it with the arsehole story. Um, yeah, I remember I was in an exam once. And uh, an Armenian teacher, who was my substitute maths teacher, mm. right? I was looking at the at the question. I think it was a fraction question. It was a, like it was what's the reciprocal of two thirds, right? And the shifty bastard, what a champion! He, he whispered to me in Armenian. He told me the answer. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Thanks, Mr. Manugian. You're a champion, mate. I also remember fantastic. that. fantastic. Yeah, it's great. But, but the arsehole story? Yeah, the arsehole story was when, um, you know. And we won't name names. No, we won't name names, you know, because she's scared about defamation. Oh, allegedly, reportedly. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, uh, his name was Bryce. I'll use his first name, right? And uh, he basically, I was a rat bag in school, and I understand where he was coming from. Now that I'm some sort of adult, um, I realise that my, my actions were wrong and my, the way I was behaving, a big attitude problem. And he basically said to me, if you didn't have that uniform on and if I wasn't in this job, I'd meet you after school and I'd beat the living shit out of you. Mm. That's basically what he said. And, you know, I went home and told my mum, and you know what, she didn't bat an eyelid. She's probably thinking, yeah, I can I understand where he's coming from. Yeah. <laughs> She didn't. It was like, oh, okay, whatever. Thanks for sticking up for me, mum, you know. Yeah. But I don't know. I think if you're going to hand out these sorts of awards to kids, I mean, they're not on your level. I mean, they don't take, they don't know anything about irony. irony no. You know, they, they, they know nothing about sarcasm. So basically, you're putting them down. Yeah, you totally. Know, just for your own benefit of having a joke. Oh, you're likely to be the biggest terrorist no. in here. <laughs> <laughs> and you, you're not going to have a home. <laughs> have a good one. <laughs> <laughs> One of these kids, 13? Yeah, yeah. 13, yeah. 13, man. That's that's it's a pivotal point that's in your life. Yeah, it is. Come on, it's you're telling critical. someone, look, you are not illustrious enough to even have your own home or even have a shelter over your head. Yeah. Good luck on finding dinner tonight. See you later. Yeah. It's just so <laughs> uh, absolutely school. depressing. What about you? Did you have any bad teachers? Mm, yeah, look, there were a couple of shitty ones, mm. but uh, I don't think they were. They didn't really scar Not like me. this. No, yeah. no, no. I don't. I don't. I don't think so. I just had the one teacher sort of she made some physical contact yeah. in an aggressive way. Chested mm. you? Yeah, he chested me. He didn't. He was. That was weird. Mm. He used to do that pretty often, actually. To you only? 
you felt like it. Yeah, yeah. I don't think he was doing that yeah, right. all over the shop. What, did he have hooks in his hands or what? Uh, no, but he was, <laughs> he, you know what, he looked like a short, shorter, white version of uh, Dr. No. Dr. No. Yeah, he was all a right. metalwork teacher, so he had the, like, the oh, jacket yeah. and everything, all and he was right. just a, he was a very strange man. Some of the ones that pissed me off the most were the ones that just didn't really give a fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah there were and a lot of those. It pissed me off because, yeah. you know, later when I started thinking about things like science and stuff, I realised how poorly they're taught a lot of the time. Mm. And it's actually quite interesting, mm. you know, when you look back at, I don't know, the stuff you could have learned. Mm. It's not really there, but... Yeah, yeah. 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 No, I've, I have that um, feeling too. I blame one teacher for me not, you know, pursuing Who physics and chemistry. I'm not going to say, oh. but... Physics and chemistry. Yeah, oh, okay. I dropped it. Yeah. Dropped yeah. physics and chemistry. I could have been like, I don't know. Oh, even better than what you are now. Maybe. Imagine that. <laughs> like an engineer or something. I could oh, have been doing something been yeah. actually <laughs> significant and important. That's yeah. right. Instead of twisting yeah. words and getting paid for it. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> you know? and, it and it could be all because of this teacher, you know? Oh, uh, but look. Uh, <laughs> but I have to say, I was never, I was never sort of chested. Yeah. Uh, that sort of thing didn't happen in a girls' no, school. No. Um, and I was never, you know, sort of put down in that way. But, you know, there were times where you want to challenge the authority of the teachers because you're genuinely engaging in the subject matter. Mm, and yeah. at that age, when you're a teenager, you think you know everything. Yes, you, you think do. you're the smartest person in the room. I even think I know everything now. And I know yeah. You do, that's right. yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. And so it is a difficult job, yeah. I've got to say, but there's, there's got to be boundaries. Yeah. It, boundaries. It, it's weird. It's a, it's a weird environment. I mean, uh, I thought I knew everything when I was a kid. Then grew up a little bit, realised that I didn't know everything back then. But when I went to uh, work casually as a teacher's aide in a high school in my early 20s, I was like, huh, I was right about this. <laughs> this is garbage. <laughs> these people are idiots. And all these little kids are just like fucking so raging little pieces of shit. So your opinion was the same of yeah, these my people opinion once was you the same. Yeah, With so more knowledge, I realised retrospectively you that I was right. completely right. <laughs> <laughs> you do know something after all. <laughs> So maybe the lesson is that uh, teenagers actually do know more. Yeah, than they're not else. always wrong. No, you know? that's probably no, right. Yeah. Not at all. They're, 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 right. You've got a hunch. Follow it. Don't listen to the pathetic adults that are being paid to be around you. Yeah. Listen, listen to the ones that back yourself. That you know that are only emotionally invested in you, and um, yeah, and then blame them later on when things don't go to plan. That's right. Mm.